Hi, I'm Becky Blanton McGee, and I have a poetry chapbook entitled Fertility Rights that is being published by Finishing Line Press. Um, fertility Rights is the story of my struggle with fertility issues and the loss of my baby. I'm going to read um, four poems from the chapbook. One is from the period of time where I was trying to conceive. Um, the second one is uh, during the pregnancy. The third one is regarding the loss of my baby. And the fourth poem is about uh, more of a universal theme of loss. The first poem is entitled Waiting Room. Sitting in a room full of women who share expectancy, I insulate myself from chatty camaraderie with an exterior of indifference. But what I really want to do is throw myself on the floor in a tantrum of kicking and screaming against the unfairness of life. How dare they be so full of promise? Will it ever be my turn? Will I ever look down and see the winning ticket in my hand? I close my eyes and repeat a mantra in my head, try not to think about it, try not to think about it, try not to think about it, to keep my anger from breaching the calm facade. When my name is called, I all but run through the door to escape the cloying happiness. Next year at Baldwin Farms. In search of the best pumpkin Madison County has to offer, we pull our once red wagon through the fields dotted with the last dollops of summer's gold. From the furthest edge, a bright a flash of bright orange catches my eye, and I see the best one, half hidden by leaves and basking in the honeyed sunshine. As I hold it in front of me, the weight is just right. Running fingers over the smooth flesh, I close my eyes and imagine it is my belly. A laugh burbles nearby, and I turn to see a baby crawling through the patch, proud parents snapping pictures against the autumn backdrop. I smile and think of next year at Baldwin Farms and my own wriggling bundle posing among the pumpkins. March 8, 2010 at St. Joseph East. The hallway is lined with doors that open onto happiness, except for one at the end, the last door on the left, marked with a fallen leaf. As I pass the joyful sounds of mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, and first-time grandparents, the faintest hope flares up that one of those happy doors could still be mine. But my feet already know what my heart cannot accept. They carry me across the threshold, and the last door on the left closes behind me. The Cry of Egypt The cry of Egypt was preceded by the silence of an empty cradle. The firstborn are gone. The silence gnawed into ears of sleeping mothers, disturbing Nile-soaked dreams. As they stumbled from bed, their hearts were doves' wings, flapping and trembling. Where are the firstborn? Worry buzzed as frantic fingers groped in the dark seeking reassurance, of finding only stillness. Where are the firstborn? The cry began as a gasp that shuddered down and expanded into a wail. Across the desert land, collective keening swelled. The firstborn are gone. Thank you for listening to these poems. I hope it has convinced you to pre-order a copy of my book.